did you do with the gun? I never had it in my possession. That's Joey. You did. Never. Yeah, I don't have it. Yeah, you don't have it. You know, people say that when they know of the gun. They've seen the gun. they touched the gun. You don't have it. I saw the gun. Yeah. But you had it before. You've touched it. You've used it. I know you have. I don't think I've ever even fired a gun. I've, I've done bows and arrows, but not guns and water guns. Yes, but not a real gun. And the gun that I got on Friday was never used. So you're going to continue to tell me that you didn't do this, Dan? Did not kill Travis? I believe you did. I truly believe you did. And there's nothing showing that anybody else did this. in so many scenes and so many investigations and there's always, always a type of evidence left behind no matter how careful somebody is. And in this case, there was evidence. Not pointing at anybody else. Just you. And that's what I have to go by. And that's what my report's going to say. Okay. I'm just... I had planned to hurt him in any way. I, you know, I'm not the brightest person, but I, I don't think I could stab him. I think I would have to shoot him continuously until he was dead, if that were my intention. And again, I bring up the gloves again, but I would have to wear gloves because, I mean, I'm not too worried about prints. I guess they're all over anyway, but. I would never stab him. If, 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 if I had it in me anywhere to kill him, the least I could have done was make it humane as possible, or quick, or something, you know? I don't think killing is humane, so to speak. I don't mean it that way, I just mean... I know, I know what you mean. Like, he was still alive. Yes, he was. He was alive for a while. And I knew that he'd been shot first, and he was still alive, and possibly tried to get away, maybe even tried to fight back. I think he was in shock. Mm -hmm. I just remember waking up and... But you didn't see him fight back or anything, did you? He just kind of collapsed there and... No, he was here. I outside of the shower. Yeah. And then he, you pulled him this way, you tried to get away with him, but then he couldn't go any further. He said he couldn't move. And that's the last place you saw him. You said that he stopped and kind of collapsed right there. She no. was standing there, he was over here, and it just doesn't make any sense. He was still, like, able to move his, like, he was, he was all, I guess he was all conscious up here, sort of, still. But he wasn't, like, on his leg or on his knees or on his feet. He wasn't walking. He was crawling. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I want to go him from there. He was sort of using his legs, but he wasn't standing up. Yeah. So you're going to continue on that route? I don't think I'm going to go further. I don't remember what time I left, but... I, I gave you an opportunity. This was the only opportunity. Okay, and, and you just... You just yeah, you gave me the information that you were there, but I knew you were there. And then you throw some story in that is not plausible. It just doesn't make any sense with the evidence that was there at the house. It doesn't make any evidence at all, or any sense at all. That evidence tells a story. And nowhere in that evidence does that story that you told me match. Is that how you want to leave it? You want to stop here and that's how you want to leave it? I know that I didn't take Travis's life. And I know well, that I you did. I know you did. 
Okay, no, you don't believe me. I don't believe you. As long as I am here, someone else is happy. And it's not me. So you're just going to let these two people get away with it? There's not even any way to identify them. One was male, one was female. They were taller than me. Not by a whole lot. I'd still like to say something to his family, but I don't think I have anything that could bring him comfort. Okay. Maybe I could write them a letter. Oh, you, you always have that opportunity to do that, so... Would they receive it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't mean would they accept it. I mean if I had the... If you made it to them, maybe. Maybe. do you know? Yeah. I don't have the right. I don't, I'm not going to provide you their address. I know. It's they know where you're, where you're going to be. And if they want to make contact with you, we can do that. I'm fine. I know his grandmother's address. I don't know if I could mail it, but... Okay. I don't right. know if that's something... Well, let me see if I get some of tape or not. You're absolutely sure you won't? Okay. The next time I see you, will probably be in Phoenix. Is that cool? Well, you're going there regardless, so it doesn't matter. But I was hoping that we could resolve this here. And it's obvious by what you're telling me, you don't want to resolve this here. I just can't. Well, at the beginning you told me that you couldn't tell me because you couldn't tell me who they were because you didn't want your family to get hurt. I can't. I can't okay. let my family. Now you're telling me you don't know who they are, and therefore it doesn't matter. So there's nothing you can tell me. I can give you the so many inconsistencies that I don't even want to deal with right now. Okay, I just don't want okay. my family to get hurt. Okay, they won't get hurt. You're hurting them right now by not telling me the truth. That's what you're doing. Okay.